What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with sort of some revelations, man. We got some crazy stuff going on that I don't think a lot of people even know about. It's, it's some wacky news. It's some insane news that came out of left field that was completely insane that I, I maybe a couple of you knew about it. Maybe you, you were in on the news, but I don't think this was posted anywhere. I don't remember seeing any announcements, but it, con it completely took me by surprise, and I wanted to share it with you so you guys can kind of be in the loop, or you can let me know like, yeah, MDT, you're an idiot. Of course this was announced. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everybody knows about this, but I thought it was crazy. But it's definitely something that I wanted to make a video about anyway. Because even if I'm getting the news this late, I still want to talk about it because it's definitely worth talking about, man. But today we're going to be diving into some AEW Supreme Collection action figure news. Anybody unaware, the AEW Supreme action figures are kind of like the equivalent of a WWE Ultimate. Some would even say maybe a little bit higher in terms of different accessories and things that are included with these figures. So many different accessories and you know, the two-in-one aspect, sometimes even three-in-one, depending on what different things can change about the figures. But there was a stream of, I believe it was StarCast 6. It was the Jazzwares AEW reveal. And this was actually posted by Premier Streaming Network on YouTube. And this video only has 74 views on it at the time of recording this. It is a stream of the AEW Jazzwares figure reveals. And I've even looked this up. I've Googled, you know, things and I've, I've researched a little bit trying to find an official announcement and you know what's to come but I couldn't find anything and so I'm just gonna play the clip for you and then you guys can uh, we'll, we'll come back here and we'll talk about it and discuss it man but this is huge just listen to this right here Walmart actually uh, alongside ringside collectibles was our launch partner for the AEW line back in August of 2020 yeah and then uh, we've been giving them an exclusive style of a number of different uh, uh, figures across unrivaled and unmatched for about a year now but now because of the uh, the, the big response from the fans and the support of Walmart Walmart, AEW Unrivaled Supreme will be uh, have its exclusive home at Walmart. Cue the visual. Who's the wrestler we're going to reveal and how can we act them out? Oh, I could never act this one out. So next in a great lineage of figures from Kenny Omega, uh, the Lucha Brothers, Malachi Black, uh, a certain someone who's coming out on shelves this October. Uh, you can also pre-order that in our booth. Uh, will be our masterpiece version of Sting. Uh, if you guys collect uh, Supreme or you've been kind of waiting on the bubble for your favorite uh, star to be in Supreme, there's essentially like three, sometimes even four figures in one pack. You can customize them with the gear, the legs, uh, the head, facial expressions. These are very robust figures. They're probably the most robust premium action figure for wrestling you can buy in the mass market. Uh, that's why Walmart wanted to really grab a hold of it and really push it and promote it with us. And um, no one better here than the Stinger. And for the eagle-eyed fans, you guys might notice that there's something special with his outfit. But we'll let you guys wait until the next show for more details. So direct from the horse's mouth, Brad, AEW Supreme Collection is getting a Sting figure. Now, what's insane about this is this was talked about and it was revealed but nobody talked about this whatsoever now I don't know if this is just because there weren't a lot of figure fans I guess maybe at this event or maybe I don't know this wasn't you know posted up anywhere it is Walmart exclusive and Walmart's not going to be posting up oh yeah here comes Sting or whatever the case is man but I went back on AEW by Jazzwares Instagram page where they usually do their official announcements unless it's ringside collectibles affiliated and whatnot and they actually skip over this announcement there's actually nothing up there there. Everything else from this panel is on there, but there was no official announcement of a Sting Supreme Action figure, and I guess it's because during the live stream, there were some technical difficulties, and the screen kind of blacked out, and they couldn't get images popped up on the screen to showcase it. So I'm guessing that when that happened, they didn't get an official photo to post up to AEW by Jazzwares, and so therefore, I guess the social media or whatever the case is, they didn't have an official announcement. There's no graphic. There's no anything. It goes from the Shop AEW Hangman to the Ringside Exclusive, you know, Blood and Gut. It's Darby Allen and Brody King into the acclaimed and whatnot, the Amazon exclusive one of 3,000 five pack or four pack. So there was no official announcement of this, or at least to my knowledge, at least I didn't see one if there was. I even searched it on Instagram, Supreme Sting. I couldn't find anything. I Googled it. There was one, I think, Redditor that posted about it and said, hey, did you see where Sting was announced? If you go to Google and Google AEW Supreme Series 5, it's still the Young Bucks. You know, we were supposed to get the Young Bucks in Series 5, and I guess those are no longer coming. And one thing that's interesting is it kind of seems Seems like is Supreme Collection going to one figure per wave? Let's move on to let's. I, I want to stay on track here because there was something I was talking about just a second ago that I wanted to stay on track with. But there was no official announcement of this. But getting an AEW Supreme Sting figure 
and going into the technical difficulties and whatnot, I was told that the photo that they showed when they showed off the Supreme Collection, and then you heard Daniel talking about his specific outfit for Sting, I am guessing that this is going to be a singlet Sting. I mean, that's the only thing that would make sense. I believe he's worn the singlet like twice, maybe. I know he wore it at, what, double or nothing in 2021, maybe, I think, when he tagged him with Darby Allen, and then, you know, with Daniel saying that about the singlet, or, you know, he said for the Eagle Eye fans, paying attention to his outfit or whatever, that leads me to believe that this would be a singlet style, unrivaled Supreme Sting figure. Now, there's a lot of different things about that that you could talk about, so not having the official photo, I'll pop up photos of what he was wearing and whatnot, so you guys can kind of see exactly what to expect, but you guys know that in this line, we've had interchangeable arms, interchangeable legs and whatnot. The only thing that makes sense with Sting would be an interchangeable jacket like the Cody Rhodes figure, but two different gears, I really don't, I don't know what the hell they're going to do there, because I feel like he's wearing the same exact pants, I don't really know what you can do there, maybe they're going to throw in some cloth goods that you can make like the long sleeve look, and then the, you know, the bare arms look, but then you're getting into all kinds, but they did include cloth goods with Cody, so, I mean, there's, there should be a ton of accessories with the Sting figure, but a Sting Supreme is excellent, I think that's a perfect person to put in the Supreme collection, but another thing that you have to think about is, what kind of looks can they do, I mean, I don't think, if they wanted to capitalize the most off of Sting getting an, uh, you know, a Supreme action figure, I think the best thing to do would be, you know what, we we kind of missculpt his face a little bit. It look, yeah, we kind, you know, maybe he does look a little bit younger. You know what I mean? I don't think that you could really get in trouble for that, like because he wore the singlet outfit. Okay, you could sculpt the arms however you want. You don't have to make them old man arms. You could give us a cut looking Sting. You could make him look like Prime Sting, and I think you could get away with that. Now, as long as he's wearing the gear that he wore in AEW, the gloves that he wore in AEW, the face paint that he wore in AEW, maybe you make the head a little bit younger, maybe the hair is coming down a little bit, I don't know, like, I'm just saying, I feel like you might could get away with that if you wanted to, but getting, I just can't believe that nobody, I feel like nobody knows about this, and so when I learned this knowledge, I said, you know what, Brad, that's a video, I mean, the AEW Supreme Sting, I think a lot of people are going to be excited about having a Sting Supreme action figure, I feel like every Supreme we've gotten so far has been really, really good, barring a couple head sculpts here and there, a fantastic line of figures, something that makes, you know, action figure collecting very fun. I've had a ton of fun with my Supreme figures. The interchangeability and everything is kind of, you know, action figure surgery, Dr. Wyatt's dream right there. So getting that is amazing. Having a Sting Supreme is unbelievable. I'm really excited for this, really excited to know what exactly they're going to do. I imagine, again, that it's going to be interchangeable arms with a leather jacket similar to the Cody Supreme. Interchangeable heads. We'll probably get like a beat up face or like, you know, the paint coming off of his face, maybe like a gritting head sculpt with paint missing, an entrance head sculpt. I mean, there's so many different things. A bat sculpt. I mean, I can just imagine what this is going to look like men on card. So I'm really excited. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is they did say that Supreme Collection figures are now Walmart exclusive. So I guess any mass retail release is going to be Walmart exclusive, which is kind of weird because don't they have that the, ja the Jazzwares Vault is coming soon, I imagine? And didn't they have a Malachi Black that was a Supreme Collection coming soon? It's like a 1 of 5,000 or 1 of 3,000 Supreme Malachi Black action figure that's Supreme. So that's not going to be Walmart exclusive. I do believe that's Jazzwares Vault exclusive, so maybe there's a couple things that could be tweaked, or maybe there's like some asterisks, you know, barring online exclusives, this is what's going to be. I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be really cool to get some ringside exclusive Supremes, but going back to the one figure per wave thing, you know, we did see in Supreme Collection Series 4 that we only got the CM Punk figure release. We were supposed to get Thunder Rosa and CM Punk and then have a Walmart exclusive CM Punk, and we saw where that went. That kind of, you know, I think CM Punk kind of butchered all of that, and maybe the waves are going to take a turn anyway, determining what's behind the scenes business-wise. We don't know exactly the numbers and what they thought like that, but maybe one figure per wave. I don't really mind that, you know? I think that the figures are so good, in fact, that it doesn't really matter if they go one figure. I, 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 of course, I want more figures. I like two per wave, but having one per wave isn't the biggest deal. I think I'm okay with having one figure per wave, especially since they're like 42, 45 bucks at retail. They're amazing figures, and so I'm, I'm good with that. I'm good with one figure per wave. Doesn't necessarily bother me. Would like to see more, but one figure per wave. It's easier on the wallet as well. Nonetheless, having a Sting Supreme figure is very exciting news, man. And again, I just don't... That's so wild to me that nobody really talked about it. Like, nobody talked about that. And so, I'm guessing that Supreme Collection Series 4 CM Punk was the one figure for that way. In Supreme Series 5, it'll be Sting and then, I guess, so on and so forth. But that kind of leads me to believe that maybe the Young Bucks are, I guess, they're gonna cease to exist. Are you gonna, are you gonna mass release a Matt Jackson by himself 
Supreme figure? Are you going to pay 45 bucks? I feel like a Tag Team Supreme 2-pack would probably be better for that. Or maybe Young Buck Supremes are off the table now. I don't necessarily know, you know? So this is a very interesting development. Very, very interesting development indeed. You know, I, I'm just thrilled to have a Sting Supreme collection, man. And he did announce his retirement, so I guess there's more figures to come. I'm just intrigued to know. I imagine that it's going to be a little bit different than his last few figures. I don't think it's going to be a t-shirt mold Sting especially with what Daniel said there and everything. It's going to be a singlet sting in Supreme Collection, hopefully with a jacket and all the accessories, so hopefully it will be a good figure, but I just thought it was nuts that this was not, like, big news. This was not talked about, so I wanted to get on here, discuss it a little bit, and just kind of talk about it, and I guess put this out there and showcase that there is a Sting Supreme figure coming from Jazzwares, and I'm hella hyped for it, so this should be fun, man, but that is pretty much going to wrap up our AEW news video for today, man. Sting Supreme Collection action figure coming soon from Jazzwares. Hopefully Hopefully, we will have more announcements on this or more details of the figures to come. I'm also awaiting Jazzwares Vault news. I, I'm, I'm excited to, to order these things, man. I want to have these figures in the collection. So, hopefully, that, those things will come soon. But before we get out of here, huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate every single one of you guys for your continued support in 2023. Appreciate all of you, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'd love to know your thoughts on a Supreme Collection Series 5 Sting figure down below. What do you think of the Walmart exclusive? I know a lot of people are going to be very upset about about it being Walmart exclusive because it'll be difficult to obtain, especially internationally, but hopefully you guys will be able to, to get those figures, so we will see, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm my name, Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.